23 degrees this morning when we hit the water. Sammy just insisted that we come out here and get amongst them. And he's already working on one back behind me there. So we'll get up to probably 45, 46, 47 degrees today. The water temperature is down around 45. Uh, good conditions. We ought to catch a few fish. Nothing like a good ice cold drink on a super cold day. No idea what this is yet. White bass. That's three fish I've now caught on the blue and white plug. The uh, fire tiger chartreuse hadn't caught a fish, so uh, I'm probably going to switch up. I guess color is going to make a difference today. Probably put blue and white and uh, seem to have pegged the depth. About 12 to 14 feet is where they are. So uh, I'll run them both at the same depth same color and see if I can speed up how many I catch. Can't even eat a sandwich. He ain't going nowhere. This could be a hybrid. I believe I've dialed in the depth and the color and the location. Should be able to get a couple every time I come through here. Something I started doing been several years ago now, and I told a few people about it, and since they've tried it, most of them have converted to take those treble hooks off your plugs. They, their treble hook is absolutely the most worthless thing there's ever been for hooking a fish with. Pretty good at hooking your hand when you're trying to land a fish, but they're worthless for hooking a fish. Put circle hooks on all your plugs, and get used to the fact that even if you're cranking, don't set the hook. Just start pulling. Just start fighting the fish. You won't lose 1% of your, your strikes. You won't lose 1%. It will absolutely change uh, your hookup to, uh, to strike ratio. You cannot believe how much more effective these things are. They don't hang up. You can pull them through brush. Um, you're not going to gut hook a fish. You'll hook every fish in the side of the mouth. Um, I was reluctant to tell a lot of people about this early on, but I think the the secret's gotten out. I've even seen some of the bass pros have gone to it, and uh, it's a, just a tremendously better idea. Look into it. Here we go again. This fish got some muscle to it. I 
I've got the color and the depth dialed in. And it's just a matter of you just catch one after another until something in the weather changes or the barometer or whatever it is that makes the fish move. These fish are not terribly large today, but they still give you a good pull. Even since I've switched both plugs to the same model and size, same depth, same line out, everything's identical, but one is black and white with a green dot on the bottom and one is excuse me blue and white with a green dot on the bottom and the other one is blue and white with an orange dot on the bottom every single fish has come on the one with the orange dot on the bottom if it, we were just talking two or three I'd say okay coincidence but you know after you catch a half dozen 10 12 and they're all coming on that particular plug it's just one of those days with where something small makes all the difference. Once again on the right hand rod. Small one. Well, battery in the camera died while I was bringing that one in. Uh, I guess I should say it was a 15 pounder, but uh, actually it was a, it was a large mouth bass, not a big one, pound and a half maybe. Uh, but once again, came on that same uh, blue and white plug with an orange dot. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch the one on the left hand here in a minute to, uh, same plug with the orange dot on it. I don't know what difference it makes, but obviously it's making a difference today. Well, the uh, weather pattern changed a little bit. The clouds we had have blown out. The lake is just flat as it can be. There's no wind to speak of, and the fish have stopped. I think I wound up with 14 hybrids. One white bass and one largemouth. Not a bad day, nothing huge, but uh, a nice day. And I'll be back.